Hello again, everybody, and welcome to a new edition of Kane Sports Inside the Lines. Today, we are going to take a look at Ahmad Moten, a defensive lineman who is now going to his third year with the Hurricanes, who you might not know a whole heck of a lot about. That's because Moten has struggled to get extensive playing time. He was out of shape. He couldn't stay on the field for more than a couple plays, and there just were a significant number of players ahead of him on the depth chart. Uh, that situation has not really changed as the Hurricanes have gone into training camp. But Moten is working extra hard. He's shed weight, and he's putting in a lot of extra time um, working on his technique and skills with the help of Reuben Bain, who has many times this summer knocked on Moten's door at midnight and had Moten come with him to the indoor practice facility where they stood there by themselves. Everybody was long off to bed and worked until sometimes 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on their defensive line skills. Uh, Moten is obviously hoping that hard work pays off in training camp that's ongoing right now. We had the chance to sit down with him, talk a little bit about this, and also spoke to Ruben Bain about their late-night sessions. Take a look. You guys are, are really deep. I mean, it's really deep. you got a lot of competition. Uh, it's really what you want, but it's uh, every day is going to be a grind for you guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think that's what Coach really wants us to do, you know, compete. Iron sharp as iron. we got one of the best offensive lines in the country, one of the best new defensive lines in the country, so it's just time to get to work, you know? And how's your game in general? Uh, you feel comfortable with all the techniques? And uh, yes, sir. Uh, working working out with Bain over the summer, with JT over the summer, you know, it's just getting work from those guys. You know, it's just every day is just you can't beat it, you know. So just us working and us just doing our things, we should be good. I should be good. You know? Yes, sir. Bain's a young guy, but nobody sets a greater example on the work ethic, right? Oh, 100%. You know, he's a young guy, but don't get me wrong. I, I teach Bain stuff. Bain teach me stuff every day. Every day, me and Bane was in here, twelve, leaving at three at night. You know, so we just working, we just working. You know, that's all we can do, just work, get better. Three in the morning? Yeah, we'll come here at like twelve at night, leave at like two. We won't get home like three. We'll leave at like two forty-five a.m. Just chilling, talking, working out right over there. By yourselves? No, it's just us two. Yeah, I was gonna say there couldn't have been anybody else here at that time. <laughs> just me and Bane. <laughs> And uh, talk a little bit about what you guys were doing in those midnight workouts. Uh, you know, we just were practicing our craft, doing what we were not good at, trying to make it better, you know, just overall in general, just being better. You know, him coming from um, 95th Street, Miami Cent, me coming from um, Cardinal Gimmers, we both winning programs. We just showing each other what we did, how we did it, playing football. So who was the inspiration to that? Were you, were you calling him and saying, let's go work out, or is he calling you at midnight and saying, let's go? Uh, ben will call me sometimes. I'd be like, nah, not today. He'll come to my, we stay in the same apartment complex, so he'll just come to my room. Let's go. At midnight? I'm not going to say no. Yeah. Knock at the, here, knock at the door. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, I just know if it's not coming at midnight, it only could be Bane, you know, so we leave. We out. It's got to be great. Uh, I mean, yeah, it is, you know, because like I said, I'm a young guy, you know, and look what he's doing. And it's only up from here with him. So him just him just wanting me to be great, me wanting myself to be great, we just pushing each other. It's, it's just nothing like it, you know. We just built that bond over the summer, and that's what we were supposed to do. We saw him have kind of that relationship last year with Branson. You know, they, they, they were pushing each other a lot. Yeah, it was it was really us three, you know, that we'll be here late night again, like me, Dean, Bain. It's just Dean left. We still talk to Dean, you know. He teaches us how to lead, going what we need to do and how we need to get better, you know. It's just... We just built a family, and it's just what we want to do, just build a family so we can just go out there and win championships. We had the chance to ask Ruben Bain about those late-night sessions with Moten. Let's see what he had to say. Definitely, uh, uh, it's a thing. It's, a, it's a, something I want to continue to do. Um, but with Moten, we know that we doing We're going to get the butt out of the duck. We're going to work, but we're going to have a good time while working. Um, we're going to laugh. We're going to joke. We're going to listen to some music. We're going to grind, then rest up and come back and do it the next day. What's that it's like just, in here? You know, midnight, nobody yeah, else here. Yeah, like nobody here. It's like a peace of mind for me. Um, it's something I could do, just come in and work out and just be at peace and don't have to worry about hearing from nobody else. I could just perfect myself, critique myself, coach myself up, and just do something I love. And you're trying to help him develop too? Of course. I mean, I'm trying to help anybody that needs help or anybody that wants to be helped. Um, and that's my guy. I mean, that's the person I always, I'm always pulling to come work out with me. No matter if he wants to or not, he got to come work out with me. Um, and shoot, that's yeah, that's somebody that's gonna be with me for the next year, next year uh, after that, and for the rest of my life, really. 
Well, in addition to those late night workouts, we also had a chance to talk to Moten just about his quest for uh, playing time in larger spurts than what he's been able to accomplish his first couple of years at Miami. Uh, back then, he would get very tired. They could put him on the field for two or three plays, and he would be gassed. But now he's in better shape, and he hopes that if his number gets called this season, that he'll be able to stay out there as long as defensive coordinator Lance Guidry needs him. Here's what he had to say. So tell us where you're at in your career. You've been here for a little bit now and uh, probably looking to make a little bit of a move. Um, tell us a little bit about where you're at. Uh, your you know, going into my third year, I just want to just focus on staying in shape for being in the game more than one, one or three plays, you know? Being to be able to play five, six plays in a row. So that's the main thing I'm focused on this camp. So how is your conditioning? Have you worked hard at it? This yes, sir. Uh, I, I'm, I'm 310 now, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lighter. I feel like I can move better. You know, it's just better to compete with my guys. So this is the best model of you going into the season? Yes, sir. I feel like this this, 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 this is a mile mode. And this is what mile mode is supposed to be like. Yes, sir. All right, so what role do you see having on this team? Uh, I, whatever I can do to make, you feel me, help us win, help everybody win, you know. Like like you said, D-line's going to be stacked. So we're going to compete during camp. We're going to see what we can do and just be out there with the best guys we can. All right, man. Well, we're looking forward to watching it. And yes, uh, I'm sure all that hard work you've been putting in is going to pay off for you. So we wish you the best this year. Yes, and, sir. Uh, talk to you again soon. I appreciate you. Thank you.